Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony here. Back with another tarot card reading for you today. I've been on hiatus. It's been a while. It's been about a week since I did any tarot. I've been trying to pull in some messages, but we've had distractions over a number of days. So, you know, uh, didn't really get too much done. But we have a wealth of messages coming in at this time using the Lyceus tarot deck to channel some messages from the universes from the collective divine and see what the message is my clairs are on 10 are on a hundred are on a thousand right now so i can't even hold back at this point anymore um let's get to your message man again like share subscribe add value to the channel so capricorn i do have a channel message for you today now for capricorn it's usually in regards to um being what you're going to need to so for Capricorn being so uh, absorbed in the earthly everyday you know activities of things again people can't say that they're not uh devilish or demonic when again people wake up with hard ons <laughs> that's sex what do you do after that you know you have to go to work in the morning so the next thing you're thinking about is money the love of money is the root of all evil what do we got to do just to get to work, just to have us get through the day? Most people drink their coffee, more drugs. They even put alcohol into their drugs. Some people that I, I know smoke blunts and things like that before they go to work. So already that's sex, money, and drugs. Devil energy, Capricorn energy. Getting through the earth plane, working hard. So just knowing how to balance, shape shift, know what these energies look like when you come across them. We have 365 days out of the year. You can't take seven days. You can't take 30 days to detox, to refrain from distractions, to refrain from toxic people, even toxic bad habits, i.e. drinking, smoking, over partying, overworking yourself. So you overwork, see, and that's the crazy part with people. They like to make excuses about time, which is farce. But you overwork yourself Monday through Friday. You don't take that time on Saturday and Sunday to rest, you continue to overwork yourself, but you call it partying. See where the enlightenment comes from? Now, to get into your reading today, Capricorn, we have exactly conflict. There's a spiritual conflict here. There's a physical conflict here. It may even be in regards to health, toxic um, encounters, toxic um, getting partnerships, uh, associations. Let's see what the message is here for you today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. We have Queen of Cups, first card. Boundaries. With the Seven of Wands. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So already off rip, or already starting this reading, we see there's an issue in regards to boundaries here. Now, boundaries for yourself or boundaries for people around you? I'm not sure what you're working on here. But we have the spiritualist here, the Queen of Cups, very empathic and intuitive, dealing with a, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, resting, taking a spiritual bath or a cleansing, drinking teas instead of all these other uh, idle things that we like to get into, that we like to fill our cup up with, even relationships, the people that we encounter. Are we dealing with gossipers or are we dealing with people that like to uphold relationships with integrity? have boundaries, spiritual boundaries and spiritual rules. They keep a dome around them and they uh, reflect uh, negativity and BS. People that like to deal in an equal give and take with the people that they have around them. Even the pets, even the plants and trees that they have around them. Trees are reciprocating things with us as well. They produce oxygen after we turn that oxygen into um, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Look at the cities that we live in. A lot of these cities are encased in a dome of smog, toxic um, airways and things like that. Yeah, all of the temptations, all of the monies, the sex, the gambling, the drugs and the alcohol is, is in um, California. But actually look at the environment. Why do you think there's always wildfires? Why do you think there's, they're so encased in smog and fog and they rather come over here to Miami, Florida? Again, I always say the if I ever leave Florida, or Miami, I would like to go to some place that reminds me of Miami, which would be California. But now I'm having second thoughts about that. 
because it's too expensive here. Six of pentacles, equal give and take. Things are unfair. It's almost like they have their own country over there. They tell us to vote, but uh, we know that the, the popular vote doesn't count. The real votes are counted by the, uh, the by Congress, pretty much. Uh, not to get into too much of that here. What else do we have? We have the high priestess. Similar imagery here. They all have their eyes closed, yet the high priestess has her eyes. She can see with her eyes closed. Do you see the open eyes here? If you watch my TikTok videos, you'll see that I always have an effect of me with blue eyes. That is higher, uh, higher um, authority and angelic presence. The clear blue. Yeah, did you know that uh, eyesight, uh, blue eyes and red hairs are going away because of, you know, of, of us just being down here on Earth? I mean, America itself has been going through a tanning for the last 100 years. That's justice. It's just going to happen. You enslave a culture of people. You enslave. You're thwarting their destinies and overstepping your boundaries and their boundaries. And you're enslaving people. A lack of equal give and take in the finances. These are pacifists or these are people that throw their hands up. And I mean, justice is just going to take place. The children are going to intermingle and have interracial relationships. And you're not going to be able to tell the difference between people. Those that have righteous authority and have righteous knowledge will. This is why in the Bible, certain older individuals or certain sects of the population are no longer uh, welcome into the new kingdom because they don't understand the concepts of uh, things that's going on around them. They're still distracted. Uh, while Moses was trying to see people through the desert or see people to the promised land, we had still had people having sex, drinking and dancing and doing all types of crazy things. Capricorn energy, negative Capricorn or devil energy, should I say? What else do we have? Ten of swords, distractions, contracts could be dealing with work. Yeah. Seven of pentacles, your innate ability or your innate uh, talent to ground yourself here. Seventy seven. Something that's grounding you here. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So we have a succession here, six, seven, eight. Working very hard here to maintain your finances. Working very hard here to keep up appearances is what I'm getting here. Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, keeping up appearances or your boundaries here, but keeping up appearances here. You're being over emotional about something that you shouldn't be emotional about. Keeping up appearances, distractions. You're hearing rumors and thoughts about what people are saying about you or the people that you are surrounding yourself with. Now we have the swords coming out. Seven of swords, eight of swords. This is you having a reflection or taking a look at yourself or taking a look at the people around you. Birds of a feather flock together. You're evaluating the people around you. People are around that are around you for sex. People that are around you for money. People that are around you for drugs. Immature activity, uh, false muses, again, immature love, prospects. They have the Queen of Cups descending into Page of Cups activity. Then we have Justice here. The Libra stepping into the situation. Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with an off balance Libra, or this could be someone that you get second opinions from, an air sign, uh, Aquarius, or Gemini. Let's see who the major arcana are in this uh, particular spread here. We have the high priestess, Pisces energy, the dreamer. This could be all the drugs, sex and alcohol that has you in a haze or a daze here. And you're not able to um, keep your eyes open. This is uh, occultism, black magic, esoteric knowledge here. Even a lack of integrity here with justice showing up, which is the other major arcana. But we have 77, we have 88. So you're putting in a lot of work here. Um, again, channeling the or my channel message here was not to work hard, just to play hard, just to overwork yourself to the point where you can't recover, rejuvenate or anything like that. Bring justice into the situation. Have some integrity here. Have people around you here that can help balance you out or balance the situation out here. All right. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel as we continue to grow. Catch you on the next one, Capricorn. Peace.